On the question, can I also record the automation with the reverb or another effect is yes. I'm going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. Hi everybody and welcome back on a new vlog. I explained how to record the reverb a few days back and the question came, can you also explain how to automate the reverb and record it then? Of course, I have here my lead sound, no reverb, then I put a reverb on a bus, that's uh, bus 37. I have my favorite reverb there with the high school gym reverb. And what I want to do, I want to re, uh, to automate the dry and wet knob here. So it's going to be more or less like that. So what you need to do for this, it's go down here, press control and then click create track like this okay like that go up here and what you're gonna do then is this one has to be in read normally then you put this one in touch I push play and then this is gonna happen don't forget this one back on read because otherwise each parameter you move it's gonna record that one and you don't want that so what i gonna do for the sake of the tutorial it's very simple the half is with reverb and the half is without so You hear the difference. Then it's very simple. What we're going to do. We just going to bounce this one, but there is an extra step we have to make. So push a to close the window and then T for the tools and then we take the pencil tool and T to go back and then we sign in two bars the length of the part we want to record and then it's very simple bounce in place Click OK. And don't forget, you have to solo the track, the reverb track, otherwise the rest is also bound. And when we're going to listen then, it's... The part is bound with the reverb in there. And when I go back, I don't can bounce an empty space. So you have to sign in the part you want to bounce. And if you bounce it like this, you get the normal sound also with in there. So don't forget to sign in. I can change it. Then you can see, of course, when we do it like this, you can close, go to the pencil tool, sign in the part you want to bounce, go back here and then bounce in place. Right. 
Oh, I did something wrong, I think. Yes, you don't mute that one because then there is no sound coming. But only solo this one, not that one. But don't mute it because then there is no sound coming. And then bounce. And here it is. And you see the parameters move. Look at the wet dry knob. You see it move when it's bounced. And that's how you record the reverb or another effect. Of course, you can do that with all the effects and with all the parameters that you want to automate. Of course, you can automate more parameters. I'm gonna throw this one away. Then. I'm going to open that one and uh, just checking as quickly the width. This one. Now it's on 100 and we let it go back to zero. Look, it's moving back and that one is also moving. And it sounds with the sound. getting narrow and you can do the same of course bounce in place oh just one second don't only like that so And that's how you record your parameters that you want to automate. You easy can record them with the effect you want to record. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, let them know, and I try to figure them out for you or to answer them for you. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, go to my Instagram, push the notification bell, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Enjoy!